Hi, I'm Terry Luck, Director of Communications at Our Lady of Perpetual Health Church, as you know. But today I wanted to tell you about another part of my life. I'm also an artist, I'm a painter. I, I do acrylic paintings and I'm inviting you into my studio here. It's actually supposed to be a garage, but uh, unfortunately we don't park in here. We park outside because all the artwork happens in here. When I was growing up, there weren't a lot of artists that I could relate to, but there was one Chicago painter named Ed Paschke who did really large scale paintings with bright colors and it was exactly the kind of person I needed as a mentor. I've always loved pop art, so I, you know, this is uh, most typical of what I do. This large portrait is called Natalie Woodpecker. I've always been kind of fascinated or maybe obsessed with actresses from the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Natalie Wood, uh, Audrey Hepburn, you name it, I've probably done a painting of her. But I also teach art classes sometimes, and uh, just a couple of years ago, I was teaching a class on Picasso, and we started to explore cubism. It really kind of started about 100 years ago. It came about because life was moving faster and faster, and it became an explore, uh, exploration of not only form and light, but also time and space, revealing not realism, but truth. And as I was teaching, I did this one. This was actually a demonstration painting I did with my students. And it was my first exploration into what I call modern cubism. And uh, this is actually what the process looks like. This is actually one that I'm working on right now. What I do is I, I have a model, a live model, and she is changing positions every 10 minutes. And I just use purple. I actually don't even use black in any of my paintings. And I draw the lines as she's moving. And then later on, I'll go back and try to make sense of all those lines with color. So it's really an amazing process um, because again, she's moving in time and space. And what I really find kind of interesting, I didn't really intend this but it really almost has a stained glass look about it. Because I use pure color, I really don't use a lot of uh, earth tones. This is kind of a new direction I'm going, but, but I love the visual arts and just always been a part of my life and it always will be.